It was my first time traveling outside of the country, and the only reason I was scared was because of the media. They told me this place was saturated with violence and anger, and boy, were they wrong. Hi, my name is Carmen Vincent, and over this past spring break, I was blessed enough to go to Bethlehem, Palestine for a video internship. My team of brilliant minds and I were given the task of creating some commercials for a fine arts university in Bethlehem. And between our work sessions, we got to explore Bethlehem. We were always greeted with sincere smiles, and everyone not only wanted to tell us their story, but they wanted to hear ours too. It didn't take me long to realize that these people were the kindest people I've ever met. And to top that off, their food was to die for, and their landscapes were breathtaking. And despite this warm kindness, they were all fighting a battle for human dignity, and it broke my heart. Bethlehem is one of the few areas in Israel where Palestinians are allowed to be. And still, they are suffocated by the separation wall, their water intake is limited, their police have no authority, and they are surrounded by Israeli settlements made to foster fear. I met a girl in a refugee camp who had to worry about her whole community being tear gassed every day she walked to school. It often happened at that camp three times a week, and yet she was the sweetest little girl I've ever met. I was super confused. These people were so full of life, full of happiness and culture and hope. No one we talked to spoke of revenge or violence. No one spoke out of bitterness. No one spoke out of defeat. The students we met at the university were so incredibly motivated to tell their stories in a creative way that people would actually listen to. Listening. I feel like that's something we owe to these people. Theirs is a story of resilience, hope, and kindness. It's easy to want to bully once you've been the victim of bullying, but these people take their pain and turn it into patience. They breathe in discrimination and breathe out determination. They absorb the conflict and create kindness. It's unbelievable. These people aren't terrorists. They're human beings like the rest of us, and they deserve to be treated that way. And I know there are Israelis who want peace too, but their government just isn't making any effort whatsoever to pursue that. No matter where we live, we can all relate to that. This problem is way more complicated than a three minute video. So I encourage all of you to do research on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and use your voice loudly to inspire peaceful change. Because of this travel experience, I've learned that the human spirit is the strongest element in existence. 